Hello, my wonderful friends. I just wanted to make a practice for you. That ed in the past. When we see ed at the end of the word, it says ed, 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 d, d, or t, ed, like in head, that d, 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 dirty diaper, d, 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 or tall, d. So the three sounds, I see the ED at the end of the word, but what sound does that ED make? So this is a game for you to be able to practice. I took all of the little cards on our page, cut them apart, and we're going to practice just half of them here together so that we can see, hmm, what's the root word? And when I add ED, which rule is it following? If my root word ends with the letter T or ends with the letter D, we need the ed, 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 like in head. If it's a voiced, mm, you can feel your vibrations because that letter G, J, L, M, N, R, V, W, all of these are voiced. We're going to give it that th th dirty diaper D sound. If it's a voiceless, and I don't hear my voice, the voiceless sounds, we're going to give it that at the end of the word. So let's see, when we go sorting and I look at my word, mm -hmm, it has the ED. You take your finger and you cover up right here, cover up the ED, what's the root word? Ass. Let me ask you a question. No. hmm. Look at this last letter and ask, is it the letter T? No. Or D? No. Is it a voiced? Do you feel your voice? No. Is it a voiceless letter K? Yes. So when I say ask in the past, I can put it right here. I asked a question. I make sure to say that letter K, and then I give that t sound. I ask a question. I ask you, how was your day today? But if I look here at my letter C, buzz, that z, 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 ooh, that has a voice, letter Z. So it does not have that same, I buzz. No, we're going to put right here, buzz. When you take away that ED, that last letter in your root word matches right here. I'm going to use my D sound. I buzz. But what if I say my word hand in the past? When I look at hand, take away that ED. <gasps> the letter D. If it ends with the D. D, let's find which ending sound do you see right here? A letter D. Ah, when it follows a T or D. Ed, 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 like in head. I hand ed. I handed you a marker. Buzzed. Asked. Let's see right here. What about jump? When I see my word jump, take away the ED, ending with the letter P. No, no, <gasps> letter P. Let's go right here. I jump, voiceless letter P, jump for joy. Jump for joy. Jump, jump. How about lock? We lock the door in the past. Lock. Hey, la, no, la, oh, voiceless letter K. We locked the door. I locked the door and get that letter T right here. Hmm, how about, and take away that ED. Oh, 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 letter D, letter D. Yeah, ed, 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 like in head, head, head. We end, ed, it ended. Da, da, da. We ended. 
that is a little taste of that practice. It's here for you. Use your rules, follow across and find when we see ed at the end of the word, it says ed, 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 d, d, or d. I always make sure to write that ed at the end of the word. But what sound do you hear that ed making? All right, my fabulous friends. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful time practicing and I will see you back in class. Take care. Thank you.